Ah, I slept like a baby. Morning, Davlos. Good morning, Maribel. I thought I saw Kiefer talking to you in the middle of the night. Was everything all right with him? Um, I guess so. Well, spare me the details. I expect he was just boring you to tears about how in love with Lala he is or something. Now shall we get going? Ruff, wake up. Time to get moving. Hmm. Well, is morning already? But I'm still... Oh, sleepy. On your wolf's feet, Ruff. Holy moly. Freedom, th freedom from the weight of destiny. Davalos and friends find Florin inside the altar, standing before the two sacred items. When Florin plays the Torben of Truth, and Lala dances in the vestment of virtue, the Almighty will finally be restored. And Florin will finally be relieved of the weight of destiny. Just as he is contemplating his forthcoming freedom, Kiefer arrives with Lala in tow. They were late because Lala twisted her ankle en route, and Kiefer had to carry her. Florin is furious with Kiefer for allowing, Lala to, for allowing Lala to be hurt, but she soon manages to calm him down, and persuades him to start getting ready for the restoration. Florin and Lala then leave the altar to prepare for their roles, the latter leaning heavily on Kiefer. The time is not yet nigh. Florin shows Rombaro the Torben of Truth, only to be told that the time is not yet right for the restoration. The engraving by the stairs says that the Almighty will be restored when the Torben of Truth glows golden, but it isn't glowing at all at the moment. Thorn doesn't take Rombaro's announcement well, and insists that they push on regardless. Despite the misgivings of the clan, Thorn snatches the Torben of Truth, and climbs the altar along with Lala, ready to commence the restoration. Florence's Confession Florin and Lala perform the rite that is supposed to bring about the restoration, but nothing happens. Rombaro tries to uncover encur Rombaro tries to offer encouragement to a distraught Florin, who responds by making a shocking confession. He also carries the same mark as Lala. Romer law dictates that two people who bear the mark are not allowed to marry one another. That's why Florin was so desperate to restore the Almighty so that his fate will be fulfilled, and he will be free to marry his beloved. Alas, the Almighty was not restored, and Thorn is consumed with guilt for having hidden the truth from the clan. Unable to face the shame, he flees the scene of his humiliation. The altar underwater again. There is no question of leaving the altar in the open while the Almighty remains unrestored. As such, the party are tasked with fetching the chimes of the Chosen from the cave, so, the, so that it can be submerged once more. After party at the encampment. With the Altar of the Almighty safely underwater again, Davalos and company return to the encampment where they first met the Romers. The restoration may not have been successful, but the clan are still grateful to our heroes and throw a fantastic feast in their honor. In search of a purpose. Late in the evening, after the festivities have finally come to an end, Kiefer decides to get some things off his chest. It seems that he's been curious about the mark on Davalos's arm for quite some time. The sight of it makes Kiefer think that Davalos might have a destiny of his own to fulfill. Not quite like Lala's, but not so different either. It's a thought that makes him envious. He was born a prince, and that's all he's ever been expected to be. But he has different ideas. He wants a purpose of his own. He wants to find something, or someone, who really needs him. And he says he's grateful to Davalos for opening his eyes to this way of thinking. Satisfied that he said everything he wanted to say, Kiefer decides to go back to bed. Well then, let's head out. Uh-oh. What in the world does Kiefer think he's doing? It's far too early in the morning to be playing soldiers. Oh, Kiefer's fighting with Mr. Baldo. We've got to break it up. Watch out. Watch out, I say. Your right side is wide open. Now go. 
go for the left. No, the right. Ah, uh, go for both sides. <laughs> Are you happy for Kiefer to become the guardian of the Romers, Davalos? We would be delighted to have him, of course, but we do not wish to break up your happy band. Kiefer wants to be the guardian of the Romers. He's supposed to be the Prince of Estard. So Kiefer isn't actually fighting Mr. Baldo. He's trying to protect him. Ah, Davalos, you're awake, I see. And you have risen just in time to witness your friend Kiefer testing his prowess against the mighty Baldo. We were extremely grateful when he offered to be our next guardian. It is a role that brings with it considerable risks. Yes, we are very grateful indeed. It is kind indeed of young Kiefer to offer to become our next guardian, but he must defeat Baldo, or we will be obliged to refuse him. We cannot ask someone to risk their life for us if they do not have the requisite abilities. Yes, that's it, like that. Your friend is quite the fighter. He may even have the better of Baldo. It would not surprise me. Come on, Baldo, you can do it. Show him how indomitable we Romers are. Oh my, there is something so exciting about violence. There is no way Baldo can be defeated. None. At first, I thought the boy was joking when he declared he wished to become our guardian, but he appears to be deadly serious. I certainly admire his courage. All right, fellows, break it up. Don't try and stop me doing this, Stavlos. If I beat Boldo, they'll accept me as the next guardian of the Romers. Take this. Mm. Nice job, Kiefer. Hmm. <laughs> There's no doubting your talent, boy, or your tenacity. I yield. Thank you, Boldo. You're a more than worthy opponent. So, Rambaro, this means I can be the next guardian of the Romers, right? Yes, most certainly. We would be foolish to refuse one so skilled. Come before me, Kiefer. Your companions, too. My fellow Romers, it gives me great pleasure to announce that a new Guardian now watches over us. Allow me to introduce our newest clan member, Kiefer. I would also like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to Davalos, without whom we, without whom we would never have found our way to the Altar of the Almighty. Let us lift up our voices in the Song of Thanks to our new companions. May the blessings of the Almighty be upon them all. Ah, lovely. Hate to spring it on you like this, Davalos, but it looks like this is where our journey together ends. I can't go back to our world, to our time, to a place where my whole future is decided for me. I'm going to stay here and look after the Romers. And besides, look at this amazing sword they give you. Heh, <laughs> bet you've never seen engraving like that before. And as guardian of the Almighty's chosen people, it's all mine now. But seriously, I'm staying. My place is my place is here with my place is here with the Romers, making sure the altar of the Almighty is safe. That's my destiny, my purpose. I think you know what I'm talking about, don't you? I think so. Ha ha ha! I had a feeling you'd say that. Anyway, 
I suppose you'll be heading back to Pilchard Bay now. Let me take you as far as the teleportal, at least. Why are you leaving us, Kiefer? Don't you like us anymore? No, Ruff. It's nothing like that. It's just, this is something I've got to do. I hope you can accept that. Oh, I don't want Kiefer to go. Me neither. Come on, Davalos. Don't look so glum. This is hard for me, too, you know. What do you want, Davalos? If you've got something to say to Kiefer, then tell him yourself. Don't expect me to do your dirty work for you. Fine. Leave us. Do whatever you want. I don't care anymore. I'm sorry, Maribel. I'm sorry for leaving you in the lurch like this, Davalos. But I've finally found what I've been looking for all my life. A purpose. A path that only I can follow. You know what this means to me, Davalos. So don't feel bad that I'm leaving. Feel happy that you've helped me find my true place. Wanted. New Clan Guardian. Davalos and friends wake up the next morning to find Kiefer and Baldo fighting outside their tent. It seems Kiefer wants to... It seems Kiefer wants to stay in the past so that he can become the Roamer's new guardian. And beating Boldo in a duel is just one of the trials he'll need to undertake in order to prove himself worthy of the role. Having won the duel, Kiefer announces that he'll be escorting the others back to the teleportal. There's no changing his mind. He seems determined to leave the party and stay in the past. Yep, that sucks. Lala is singing the Song of Thanks. Her eyes are a little moist. You and your friends have, uh, you and your friends have given us new hope, friend Davalos. Rest assured that we will take good care of Kiefer. Madame Rosa is singing the, f Madame Rosa is singing the Song of Thanks in a crystal clear voice that belies her years. He is putting his heart and soul into singing the Song of Thanks. Kiefer's a tough lad, but I have a feeling you're even tougher. But I have a feeling you're even tougher, Davalos. Now listen, we may have different methods, but we all want the same thing. Peace. Let's not forget that, eh? I am afraid I cannot talk much. My voice has grown hoarse. May the blessing of the Almighty be upon you, young Davalos. And fear not, I know that we will all meet again some day. Thank you, thank you. Our warmest praise for you, for today and tomorrow. Huh? Am I singing the wrong song? Oh dear, it has been a while. I have become rather rusty. The dancer is singing the song of thanks. She has a beautiful voice. The boy is singing the song of thanks in a beautiful, clear voice. He is giving it everything. The old lady is singing the song of praise. She has a powerful, booming voice. Please do not talk to me just now. If I am disturbed during the song of thanks, my heartfelt sentiments will not reach the Almighty. Well then, it is time to leave. Well, Davalos, are you ready to go? I guess we'd better be. Right, I think the teleportal was this way. Well, here we are, Davalos. This is where we say goodbye. Listen, thanks for everything. 
If it wasn't for you, I'd never have come on this whole adventure. It's been amazing. Oh, and if you haven't run into my dad back in our world, will you fill him in on all the details? Tell him I've finally found my purpose. I'm sure he'll understand. Don't tell him I'm a... Don't tell him I'm in love with Lala, though. Don't tell anyone I... Don't tell anyone that actually... Anyway, you'd better be going. See you soon, okay? Goodbye, Kiefer. Hmm? Where did that bag come from? Do you think Kiefer threw it into the teleportal after us? Davalos opens the knapsack and peers inside. It contains all of Kiefer's equipment, along with a letter. Are you alright, Davalos? You're not missing Kiefer already, are you? I can't believe he gave us all of his equipment. Does that really mean he's never coming back? Are we really... Are we really... No... Are we really never going to see Kiefer again? I didn't know him for a long time, but I'm, but I'm sad to see him gone. His dad and his sister will be even sadder. And how are we going to explain this to the king exactly? Sorry, I mean, how are you going to... I mean, how are you going to explain it? Kiefer's your friend. It's only right that you should be the one who breaks the news. Kiefer's letter. A letter from a good friend. Davalos reads Kiefer's letter. Dear Davalos and everyone else, Sorry to leave you in the lurch like this, but a man's got to do what a man's got to do. One day you'll understand. I have left all the equipment you got me, so no need to worry on that front. Maybe see you soon. Kiefer. Oh, it's split into chapters now. A fond farewell. At the teleportal, Kiefer says his goodbyes to Davalos and the others. He tells them it's been an amazing adventure, but that the time has come to go their separate ways. After giving his friends a final reassuring message to pass on to his father, he pushes them into the teleportal and disappears. Now on to Chapter 2, Kiefer's Parting Gift. Davalos and the others return to the assembly room, where they find a bag lying on the floor. It seems that Kiefer threw it into the teleportal after them. Davalos reads the letter inside, and the party decide to go and tell King Donald about everything that's happened. Got a fragment or two to slot now. One yellow. The bottom middle, maybe? Yes. Looks like the upper right corner. And a blue pillar. This, maybe? Upper left corner. But we'll really be missing Kiefer in the next sun in the next scenario. And as for those tablet fragments, the yellow one, number six, was from the poolside cave. And the blue one, also number six, was from the Romer encampment. Come on, let's go and give King Donald the bad news. What's the matter, Davalos? Are you worried about what the king will say? I can't believe he gave up. I can't believe he gave us all of his equipment. 
So does that really mean he's never coming back? Come on, let's go and give King Donald the bad news. Yep, I guess we'd better do that. So, over to Estard. Why are my stats not restored? You'll tell the king about Kiefer, won't you, Davalos? It's about time you grew up and took some responsibility. I've never felt less pleased to be back home before. Grr, it's all that stupid Kiefer's fault. It's usually really nice to be back here, but not today. I wonder why. It must be because Kiefer isn't with us anymore. So, time to go see King Donald. Got a fragment detected. Oh, Your Majesty, I have some news for you. Ah, so you've returned to us. You must tell me of your latest adventures. But first, please enlighten me as to the whereabouts of my son. Has that confounded boy wandered off somewhere again? Yes, he has. Why do you evade my... Why do you evade my gaze, Davalos? What is the meaning of this? Something has happened, has it not? You will tell me everything this instant, is that clear? Yes, sir. Davalos explains what happened. I... I... No, I cannot. This simply cannot. A purpose of his own? How can he speak of such things with any certainty? He is a mere child. The fool, the damned fool. Does he care nothing for his kingdom, for his father? <sighs> I had planned to give him this on his return, but I suppose you might as well have it now. Aha, uh -huh, a fragment. We get a blue fragment. Davlos acquires the blue fragment. One of the people of the island found it and brought it here to the castle. I had meant to present it to him as a symbol of my blessing, so let him know that I was happy with the path he had chosen. And instead, my eagerness to see him is greeted with these regretful tidings. Davalos, I thank you for bringing me this news, however. If you do not mind, I wish to be alone. I trust you will excuse me. Sorry, King Donald. Come on, Davalos. Let's leave King Donald alone with his thoughts. That's all we can do right now. King Donald's trying so hard not to cry. He's holding back the tears, but I can tell how sad he is. He's crying on the inside. So we get another blue fragment. Blue Fragment 7, from King Donald. King Donald's Distress Back at Estard Castle, our heroes tell King Donald about Kiefer's decision. At first he reacts with anger, but then he settles into sadness. It seems he'd been looking forward to giving Kiefer something on his, something on his return. A stone tablet fragment. Apparently, it was found somewhere on the island. He had been planning to give it to his son as, as a sign that he wasn't going to stand in the way of his adventures anymore. In Kiefer's absence, the king hands the tablet fragment to the party, and then announces that he wants to be alone for a while. Ah, well. Now then, let's rest back in Pilchard Bay.
Well, now that we've got that out of the way, let's go and do something to cheer ourselves up. Come on, Davalos, let's go somewhere else. Everything around here reminds me of King Donald. He looked so sad. Poor King Donald. So, let's head home to rest. Well, if it isn't my Davalos, and with no prince in tow either, that's a first. I suppose he must be busy with something. There must be an awful lot for an absent... There must be an awful lot for an absentee royal to catch up with when he finally makes it home. Oh, that reminds me. I whipped up some lovely fish bits. Be a good boy and give them to him next time you see him, will you? What's that? You can't take them. Humph. That's not like you. You and Prince Kiefer haven't fallen out, I hope. Nobody knows better than your mother how close you and Kiefer were. I'll bet it's going to be tough to tell her what happened, isn't it? Time to turn in. And now it's time to save. Next time we'll investigate the Roma Encampment region. This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.